Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 let's sing Jesus and every day children's way. Hey there, friends. It is Friday, which means that it's the last day of the weekday before we come to the weekend. Now, maybe you have plans tonight. Maybe you're going to a football game or you're watching a football game or maybe you have a family game night plan. Whatever your plans are today, make it a wonderful and fantastic day. But you know what, friends? Friday is also a sad day, too, because that means it's the last lesson that we have together. And you know, all this week we've been talking about honoring our friends. And specifically, we've been talking about everything but the people that we'd say, well, that's my friend. I'll explain what I mean in a moment. But we talked about Monday, how we need to be honoring our mother and our father. And Tuesday, we need to be honoring our Bible class teachers. And Wednesday and Thursday, we talked about how we need to honor God as He is king over our lives and that we're going to honor God with all the work that He gives for us to do. Now today we're actually going to talk about honoring the people that we would consider or say, hey, that's my friend. Did you know that in 1 Samuel chapter 20 and verse 17, we actually read throughout that entire chapter the story of Jonathan and David. Now Jonathan and David had a very, very special friendship in that in verse 17, Jonathan would tell David that he loved David as if it were his own soul. Did you know that the Bible would talk about that there is a friend who sticks closer to you, who has a closer connection to you than even your own brother or sister? Now that's really hard to think about or to imagine, but if you really think about it, who are the people that you consider your friends? Did you know that maybe if you're going to be a good friend like Jonathan was to David, what Jonathan was doing for David is that David was actually having a really hard time in his life, and Jonathan's father, Saul, didn't like David at all. As a matter of fact, he wanted to kill David, and that made Jonathan sad and angry at the same time. But what Jonathan did for David is fantastic, but before we talk about that, let's go sing a song with our friend Paul, and we'll talk about that after we sing. So, let's go sing with Paul. Let's go. Sing Christian songs with Paul. Thanks, E.T. Hey, kids, would you like to sing another Christian song? How about... Listen up. Listen up in Bible class. Listen up to learn of God. Listen up. It goes by fast. So listen up in Bible class. Listen up to mom and dad. Listen up. You're growing fast. Listen up. You'll make them glad, so listen up to mom and dad. Listen up, we're singing songs. Listen up, to learn of God. Listen up, and sing along, so listen up, we're singing songs. Great job, kids. We'll see you next time. Hey there, friends. You did a wonderful job singing with Paul. And Paul, you did a fantastic job. Once again, brother, great job. And great job, friends. You did great. I think you sounded better than Paul today. Now, when we left, we were talking about that Jonathan loved David as if David were his own soul. And the Bible would also tell us that there is a friend who sticks closer to us than even our own brother's and sisters. Now, the relationship that Jonathan had with David is that Jonathan would die for David. If Saul was going to try to do anything to David, Jonathan would take the blow for it. Now, what's interesting about that is that Jonathan was willing to lay down his life for his friend David. And it makes me wonder, are we thankful for all the friends that we have in our life? Would you give your life for your friends that are around you? 
I've heard of people in the past who gave their life for their friends, whether it was at school or something happened at a park or just something random happened in life where people actually had to make the choice. It's either my life or theirs. And there's been a lot of brave and courageous friends out there who have ultimately given their life for their friends. But you know, when we think about honoring our friends, why don't we try doing this? You know our memory work this week is all about being kindly affectionate. Show affection or care towards those that you would consider friends. But it would say be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. We need to be sharing the same love that Jesus and God shows to us by all the many blessings that they give us. We need to be thanking our friends for who they are, our friends. So your goal for this weekend would be this. If you're going to be honoring and thanking your mother, your father, your Bible class teacher, giving thanks to God for everything that He's done for you, first and foremost, thank God that He's given you friends to enjoy this life with. But I also want you to not just thank God for Him blessing you with those friends, but go to each of your friends or even those friends that you consider your best friends and thank them for being your friends. Maybe take them out to go watch a, a movie at your house and eat some popcorn or have a slumber party or enjoy time with one another or even better, have a Bible study together, pray together, talk about God together. And I guarantee if you do that, you'll be honoring your friends in such a way that God will be so happy with what you're doing. Now friends, sadly, that's all the time that we have this week. Let's go work on our final memory work, and I'll see you next time. Let's go. Hey there, friends. It's Friday, which means it's memory work time. Now, our memory work this week comes from the book of Folgers, chapter one cup and two teaspoons. Now, that's not at all where our verse comes from, but Romans chapter 12 and verse 10. Now, we'll say the verse once together, and then I want you to say the verse to me without looking at the verse. So, let's say the verse once together. Are you ready? Let's go. Be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. In honor, giving preference to one another. Now, I want you to say the verse back to me. Go ahead. That was great. You did a fantastic job. Now take this verse and share your honor towards your friends everywhere you go. Show them that you care. Show them that you love them. But show them most of all that God really loves them. Now friends, I have enjoyed this week and thank you so much for spending this week with me. Have a safe and wonderful weekend and until next time, See you later, friends. Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 Jesus,